Hey everybody, uh, Jan here, just giving you another video of my uh, John Olerud baseball card collection. Uh, this video is going to be a collection of autograph cards, and I've got a few of uh, the Topps pristine cards that are still sealed in the cases that I just wanted to share with everybody. And it's also going to be a little precautionary tale that uh, it's a little embarrassing to myself, but I don't mind sharing it with other folks just so they can learn from my mistake and not repeat the same thing again. But I have a few stacks here, uh, just giving everybody a share. Uh, this stack here on the lower left is uh, all official licensed autographed cards from John Olerud. And I have this taller stack here of 78 cards that are um, autographed cards that I bought off of eBay or I got in the mail. And then I have a few, few other of my favorite cards that are uh, memorabilia cards and autographed cards and uh, my precautionary tale that I'm going to share with everybody and then of course the pristines in the back and uh, for those of you who have been following my videos sorry that it's taken so long to uh, to make this video uh, we've had some some severe weather here in Missouri and a couple of times I've just gotten distracted with uh, the infant son and now I've got the mother-in-law visiting and so they're all out in the living room playing and having a good time and so I figured I'd take a break and come back here and escape for a few minutes and make a quick video and share with everybody. So I'm going to reposition the camera here for a second. Right now I'm, right now I'm hiding in my son's room, uh, and that's his aquarium. Uh, it glows at nighttime and it keeps him entertained. And of course I'm a big, huge Star Wars fan nerd, so there's his Stormtrooper clock and a, a neon Stormtrooper sign that lights up. And of course his piggy bank baseball bat. So... Let me go ahead and reposition the camera real quick, and then we'll go ahead and begin uh, sharing the video. So the first things that I have to show everybody are, uh, these are my my all-time favorite memorabilia cards, and these are the upper deck leather bound cards. And the first card you see here is the basic uh, base issue card. Uh, it's got a nice piece of his glove uh, with a hole in it for leather seams. And I just think it's a really cool card. Now the next card is a, a rare card. It's a gold printed a short print card and it's serial hand serial numbered uh, number 5 of 25 and uh, you'll see the difference between this one and the other card. This one's silver printed and this one is gold printed and again with the hand printing of 5 of 25 which is pretty cool. And of course the uh, the autographed memorabilia card. This one's cool. It's got the the leather card on it with the hole for the seam and then of course his autograph. It's not a very expensive card but it is my absolute favorite card of his uh, with memorabilia on it. Now begins my precautionary tale to other collectors. This is an absolute gorgeous card. I love it. It's uh, It's got his autograph on it. A piece of uh, ball. It's actually not real leather, it's pleather baseball on it. Uh, it's got his autograph on it and it's just a gorgeous card. It is a serial numbered card. It's number 46 of 75 out there. And uh, I bought this card off eBay just because I, I really like it. It's my favorite player of course and it's an autograph memorabilia card. And so I had to get this one as a replacement and here's where my precautionary tale begins. Uh, this was a, f a favorite card of mine and I had it displayed on my desk at work and unfortunately in my office uh, I got a lot of sunlight so I have this card and the autograph is almost completely faded out uh, you can see it in the video but uh, in with your naked eye it is almost illegible you can't see it very well and also the red foil on this card it's faded very badly um, you can see a little bit in this angle, but uh, with the naked eye, it looks almost completely bleached out and almost a, a sparkly pattern. Instead of being a solid red, it's a sparkle pattern. So that's my little precautionary tale. Uh, if you have memorabilia cards, try to keep them out of direct sunlight, especially autographs and autographs on baseballs. That's a, a real shame. I, I like this card. I'm going to keep it in good condition as best as I can. This one was serial number 30 of 75. 
Uh, I really like this card and it's just a shame that I wasn't smart enough to to keep it out of sunlight. I had it displayed on my desk at work and uh, unfortunately got a lot of sunlight and the autograph is almost completely gone. But with that card uh, is also the short print. This is the gold bordered one. Uh, beautiful clean crystal clear autograph of Old Rude. And uh, this one is serial numbered 29 of 30. So that's kind of neat. Let me go ahead and set the camera down because I'm shaking a little bit just from holding it at an odd angle. And I'll do my best to get, get the cards where you can see them. My first Topps Pristine card is actually the Topps E Topps. This one came out in the year 2003. The stats are up to 2002, so I assume this is a 2003 card. And it has a serial number on it, which is 0250. Zero, zero, zero. So this is um, what happened was the Topps company wanted to do an electronic version of baseball cards. Uh, well, it really wasn't too popular with collectors and eventually collectors wanted to redeem their online certificates and uh, online credits for physical cards and that's what this is here. This is the physical card of the 2003 E-Topps card. Now, if you look really close, uh, you might see some black flecks or dots on the plastic case. Uh, this unfortunately was completely out of my control. Uh, I'm active duty military as I've mentioned in my other video and when I moved from Ramstein, Germany to Missouri and opened up my collection of cards I noticed uh, all of my sealed uh, Topps pristine cards had these little tiny black flecks and what they really are is some type of uh, uh, some type of insect which is really frustrating uh, they weren't there I can guarantee they weren't there when I moved uh, they just somehow infested our our, uh, our shipment of products and our household goods so we had to clean up everything we had and so unfortunately these tops pristine cards were a victim of whatever the hell these bugs are but here is the uh, the 2003 Topps Pristine. It's a refractor card, and it's serial numbered 50. Or excuse me, 63 of 99. Next up is going to be the 2003 uh, Bowman. It's in pristine case. Uh, this is a silver signature, and again, this one's got the little tiny mites. In the inside the plastic, and it's really frustrating to see them there. They they're uh, very visible with the naked eye, and just extremely distracting when you look at the plastic cases. Following that is uh, 2002 Topps Pristine. Uh, this one's also a refractor, and it's serial numbered 58 of 149. And the last Topps Pristine card I have is a, a gold X-Fractor. This is from 2003 as well. This is Topps Finest Gold X-Fractor. And this one is uh, serial numbered 52 of 199. But again, uh, just really detracting with these little bugs that are inside the cases. It's just so frustrating. So. Uh, Again, if you live in areas that have a lot of insects or pests, you know, just take care of it. Uh, again, it, they weren't there when I was living in Germany, and then we opened up some of our boxes uh, here in Missouri. We discovered all of these things, so uh, they just went along for the ride, I guess, and just unfortunate. But let's move on and get to the uh, official uh, autographs of. Olerud, these are my collection of official autographs. And the first card, I believe, uh, in my opinion, is his first ever licensed um, autograph product. And this is the Star Company. It's from 1992. Uh, from what I understand, this is the first licensed card that Olerud did for, um, for autographs. 
Uh, this star card, I've only seen it in the autographed version, and I do know that they were randomly inserted into packs. So I, I believe that in 1992, this was the first time that a company licensed an autograph from Olaru to insert in packs. Uh, I bought this card off eBay, and it had this little handmade, homemade uh, product of, uh, hey, I printed this out at home, and it means absolutely nothing. And uh, this is what the back of the card looks like. It's got a stats from 89, 90, and 91. Next up is uh, his, some of his more recent cards, this is a Upper Deck SP product. The uh, American Flag product is from serial number 30 of 99. It's a 2002 Topps Archives. So a lot of these I'm going to go through really quickly because they're not very exotic. Everyone who's a John Olerud fan knows about these autographs, so it's, it's nothing special. Uh, these are the Elite Collegiate Patches. These are kind of cool cards. I have two of them because uh, one of them I bought and then I seen another one on eBay that the way the card was presented on eBay it looked like it had a gray jersey swatch on the back side so I bought a second one and when I got it in the mail is uh, just another white jersey swatch so I was a little frustrated with that to uh, accidentally buy duplicates. Next four cards are going to be the uh, god awful ugly Obak cards. Uh, they are certified autographs, so of course you got to have them in your collection. But uh, first one is the orange one, and uh, this one is serial numbered 54 of 75, followed by the gold or the brown version. This one's serial numbered 47 of 50. Uh, the green version, green signature. Or it's a blue autograph on the green card. This is serial number two of 25, and uh, the last one is kind of cool. This one is uh, the blue printed card, and this one is serial numbered two of five. So that's nice to have in the autograph collection. Now after 1992, uh, Olaru didn't really have any licensed autographs until 99 when the SP Signature Edition came out, and this is 1999. Uh, here he is in the Mets uniform with the autograph here. And I have two of these because after looking really closely at them, uh, this one has a blue signature and this one has a black ink autograph. Now there really isn't any listed uh, uh, short prints or variations for this card. I don't know, maybe he was just running out of ink and grabbed another pen and now he's got one in black and one in blue. But uh, I noticed the difference and so I thought it was important to add to my collection uh, having a blue ink and a black ink autograph. Uh, those of us who are Ola Root fans, we know he spent a, a whopping four or five months with the New York Yankees, and so here's a Skybox Autographics card. Uh, this one's not very rare. You can find several of them on the list of you on eBay right now, so uh, it's out there for everybody to see. Here's the uh, Edgar Martinez and John Ola Root dual signature. Uh, this one's serial number 6 of 100. <sighs> Sorry, I'm battling a little bit of cold right now. This one's a really neat card. Uh, this one is the Jersey autograph card from Upper Decks, a piece of history uh, commemorating his batting champion season of 1993 with a batting average of 363. And this card is serial number 15 of 24. Those of us who do our history uh, know that Olerud played for the U.S. Olympic team. Uh, he has several cards from this line. This one's the blue signature one. It's serial numbered 16 of 120, and it's signed in blue ink. And of course, he has the black ink signature. This one's serial number 32 of 360. I've also seen this card in red and in green ink, and uh, those ones are much harder to get get a hold of. I've only seen a few of them on eBay and they go for very much uh, a lot of money. Here's the TriStar Signia Cuts. Uh, this one's kind of a cheap chintzy way for uh, cards and companies to do autographs. They just have the player sign a little patch and then they stick it on a card and then 
fools like us that uh, collect old root go out and buy it for ten bucks or whatever. This is a great card. This is a SP Autographics. This one's serial number 10 of 10 with uh, two individual pieces of jersey card. The back of this isn't very exciting. Another upper deck product. This one's serial numbered 11 of 45. Upper deck vintage. This one's serial numbered 48 of 70. I forgot to include the backs of both of these have the buybacks. When I got these off eBay, they the seller included the buyback certificates so that's neat to have and another upper deck product uh, this one's serial number 9 of 50 and again the buyback and all four of these are from 2000 or excuse me all three of these are from 2004 during his while he was still playing now anybody who's ever sent something to Olderoot knows that uh, uh, he usually includes his own uh, Christian Testament card. That's what I call them. It's just Christian Testimony cards. Um, he's got one from every team that he's played for, except for the Yankees and the Red Sox. He stopped after his time with the Mariners. But uh, here he is with the Blue Jays. And I've been able to get a hold of a, a card with uh, blue ink and black ink with, uh, with all the variations. Blue Jays. Mets with the blue signature. Mets with black signature, Mariners with blue signature, Mariners again with a black signature, and I believe this is the last example that he was putting out. Uh, it's putting out actually. It's got a logo on here with a company called TheGold.com, which is a a Christian organization. And here it is with blue signature and with black signature, and uh, these cards actually have some graphics on the back side, which is really neat to see. The rest of the cards, they're all the same. They all have just plain print with some basic statistics on the back of it. And uh, what's really funny is uh, across the bottom it says, this card was printed by John Olerud and is not for sale. And of course, every one of these has been purchased off eBay. Just because I've never worked up the nerve myself to uh, send him a fan, piece of fan mail. And so uh, that's, that's how I got these is off eBay. All right, so that's it for uh, my certified autographs and a few of my favorite collections. I'm going to upload this video because it's running long. And then uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a separate video of all 78 of my other autograph cards. Um, so stay tuned for that, and I'm going to make that right now.